mute myself. And I'm going to make introduction, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, here, here we are again. Uh, another two weeks passed and last time when we were live, I was in New York City wearing my, uh, I don't know, short tra sh shorts mostly and everything because it was still summery. But here I am already in, 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 in very leafy and very folly London. And I'm very glad today that I have a guest, Ashley. You, you weren't even expecting that I'm going to bring a guest. And it's my very good friend. Um, uh, we are good friends personally, but also colleagues professionally, Clement Langus. Hi. Uh, Clement Langus is director of uh, Tourism Bochin, one of the most beautiful parts of Slovenia, the most sustainable for sure. Uh, they have award-winning sustainable destination. You, you've been there, haven't you? And it, uh, yeah, it's a it's a lake in Alpine Slovenia, and um, we are in London. Why are we in London? Because we came to World Trail Market, didn't we? By train. Yeah, <laughs> it was one of the most successful uh, fairs in the 14 years I'm coming to London, and uh, because of because of Cine's work, actually. Oh. So I'm 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 really thankful to Cine. Well, it's um, you you guys all know probably about the World uh, Travel Market. It's one of the biggest tourism fair in the world. You don't have affairs like this in America, I guess. But for Europe, it's very common. Like even American um, American stands are here quite well present. Like Visit USA comes here. And it's basically where usually the whole world meets for the day, uh, for the three or four days of meetings. Uh, obviously, this was first one live after the COVID period, if I may say after. And it was probably on a 25% capacity. But the good thing was, with Clement, wasn't it, that we, we, you can really have meetings with some really good partners and uh, decision makers. And yeah, I'm very proud to say that I had meetings with my partners from Slovenia and that uh, we got confirmed that we're going to have a partnership for our farm trip. So one of them is Clement. Yes. Thank you, Clement. Yes. And Clement doesn't just speak in the name of... Um, um, okay. Bochim, but also in the name of the whole Julian Alps region. So this will be all north... West Slovenia, Kranjska Gora, um, Bled, Bohin, Socha uh, Valley, and other parts as well. So they will, they will, they will host this, uh, host us, our group in uh, in their region. And uh, yeah, uh, that's why I think it was good to bring him here also to tell you a bit more of, about that region. What do you think? Sounds great. Do you want me to, um, while you're speaking, do you want me to show the website so people can see some of the pictures of the area around Bohin? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, take it away. Say, you tell me what you want to talk this about. Is, this, is, this is a place that uh, Agatha Christie visited uh, since we are in London now. Agatha Christie visited this, this place back in, in uh, 1967. And she was then asked, uh, she gave one of the rarest interviews here in, in, uh, for Slovenian television at the, at the time. And uh, she, was, she was asked if she would wrote a, a, a criminal book happening in, in, in this place in Bochin. And she answered, no, it's too beautiful for a murder. <laughs> so, I believe that. <laughs> so, so this is how the area is, actually. Yeah, and you, really you remember after we were there, we took like a cable car up on the top of the mountain and then this lake, like we took this boat actually, didn't we? Uh, and uh, we, we went up on the top of the mountain and then and, and had the beautiful... Um, uh, lunch, uh, lunch or what well, yeah, was a lunch like a sausage and, and stuff and and yeah it's like just one of the most beautiful and pristine part of Europe uh, and definitely Slovenia it's and part of, it's, it's, it's part of the only national park in Slovenia which is called the, the Triglo National Park after the highest mountain in Slovenia which is called Triglo uh, and of course that's it. yeah you just yeah, had it there the, 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 well, one uh, picture back you had the Triglo Mount yeah well not this <laughs> yeah. but uh this, this one, one this, yeah. this is, this is Triglo. This Mount Triglo, this is a high peak in Slovenia. It's our national symbol as well. And as you have the flowers as well, um, tell about the wildflower yeah, festival. What, what, we, what we do in the springtime, we, we, we are organizing a wildflower festival. It's a 14 days event with uh, botanical guided tours, uh, with different uh, events, uh, cultural events like exhibition, concerts, with the, with the workshops, uh, conferences, etc. So it's, even it's, food inspired. By even the food inspired. Yes, it's, it's, uh, there is one theme which is just called wildflowers uh, at home, which is the use of wildflowers in everyday life. And uh, this, is, this is how we connect uh, actually the local local community into the tourism. Since we our vision is locally is is community based tourism. This is this is this is how we we understand the tourism. 
And what's very good, I think, for um, our agents as well is that Bohin just recently reopened a couple of new hotels. So, for example, when you were, you were there in 18, the, the hotel wasn't open yet. Uh, but now we have this completely new hotel called Bo Hotel Yesiero, so which, which is a key word for you today to learn. Um, <laughs> I hope you heard how I said it. Yesiero means lake. Uh, and it's a, it's a very sustainable new hotel and there's a couple of others like um, hotels which are very um, luxury as well and very interesting to, 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 to our American guests. Uh, but this is only Bohin. I mean, the other uh, Julian Alps region has, for example, Anna Roche, uh, world, one of the world's most famous female chefs, if not chefs in general. Um, then Lake Blet, which is also a famous resort type of uh, destination. It's completely different in my perspective as Bohin. It's more resort. Bohin is very natural, very sustainable. And, and then uh, Krajinska Gora as well, which is uh, famous for skiing as well and nature and everything. And of course, uh, the Socha Valley on the other side. Yeah, Socha Valley, which is a picture perfect uh, yeah. Turkish uh, uh, river, which everybody love it when they come there. It's just this beautiful corner of Slovenia. Um, from the activities point of view, this is so, this is um, yeah um, a, a outdoor a, outdoor destination actually. I've you seen know, a lot of outdoor activities. In the first place, of course, hiking, cycling, uh, fishing uh, also because of the Socha River and the Savary, Sara Sava River on, on our side of the Jordan Alps. Uh, winter sports, uh, like Tina mentioned already, uh, this is uh, one of the regional products uh, you just uh, uh, you see you yeah, trail is a long distance trail around the Jordan Alps, around 300 kilometers, divided in 16 stages. This is brand new now product, Juliana Ski Tour is ski touring uh, across the uh, Jordan Alps in the winter in pristine nature, uh, wilderness, national park with uh, very good guides. Then we have a Juliana bike, which is a bike loop around the uh, yeah. Jordan Alps. We can do that in kilometers. We so, also use e-bikes, electric bikes. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys are, well, you will want to uh, go around the around the lake with electric, electric bikes when yeah. we are there, yeah. we can arrange this as well, yeah. I think. This one, this one is Juliana bike, yeah. Yeah, and I can attest to that the whole Julian Alps being probably the most beautiful part. I mean, it's hard because all of Slovenia is beautiful, but it's just, it's breathtaking. It's I agree. Me. Yeah, I be agree. Be I totally like agree. National park, you know, some of the just epic landscapes, and um, it's very beautiful. So you can't miss that particular area of Slovenia if you go. No, no, yeah. definitely no. It's also one of is the most popular area for our American uh, guests, uh, beside uh, the capital Ljubljana, for sure. Uh, yes, this is another thing I want to mention. So you guys, please follow us on Tourism Bohin Green Movement on LinkedIn. This is our LinkedIn website when we every week we post some green initiatives, some stories from Bohin. It's very interesting. We don't post only our stories, our, our green initiatives, but really like a good samples from around the world. So we, we feature everything from 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 west to to the east of, of the world. So uh, feel free to, to go for it. But make sure you press the follow button and any followers there. Yeah, I'll, I'll post the link for that in the comment section. Excellent, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So now now it's your test time, Ashley. Okay, uh, you should probably leave Clem and I don't want to embarrass myself in front of you. No, we want, we want you to embarrass yourself in front of people. So. So today's word in honor of Lake Bohin is uh, the word for lake, which is Yezero, Yezero. Excellent. Very good. Very okay. good. You never, you never fail my Slovenian test. You are uh, always <laughs> very humble of, about your knowledge, and then you nail it every time. Very good. Yezero, because yes. the, many people say Yezero or something, yeah. Also, yeah. or they will say Bohinch instead yeah. of Bohin, because Bohin is spelled with a J. Okay. And yeah. then they, it's uh, English people call it the tongue twister. <laughs> It's a tongue twister, this, <laughs> this word, Bohin. Yeah, Bohin square zero, yes, very nice. Thanks. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you joining us, and um, I hope you have safe travels. Thank you, Clement, yeah. Back. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. We, As he said, we came from Slovenia to London by train. It took us a day and a half. It was the most amazing journey because we took we did it sustainable way. Mm -hmm. And we really enjoyed the trip because we believe the journey should start from when you leave a home, not just when you reach the destination. And that's yeah. a big motto we would try to promote now. Yes. Well, thank you for sharing that. And uh, 
I hope you guys have safe travels home. And um, thank you all for joining us, watching this episode of Slovenia Bites. And if you have any questions about Bohin or the Julian Alps, feel free to reach yes. out to us. We're happy to On, yeah, that. message us so we, we, we can we can get Clement to, to, to give us more information yes. as well, you know, or with us as well, yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, bye.